Hi guys. It is a gorgeous spring day here in the end times at the end of this rutted out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp there on this lovely it is now Sunday morning we're off for a Sunday morning drive me and the little dog Sunday morning where are we March 28th 2021 and we are off to uh, pick up my new $325 Tent, my Gazelle T4 tent. I'm looking forward to the most expensive tent I have ever bought in my life. And uh, maybe we'll have a video on that later. So, anyway, it has been a busy week <coughs> at Crazy Crane Hip Camp this weekend. We have had a regular party and Guys, I just, uh, I, I, I don't know why I can't shut up about it, uh, about this whole mask thing. And, you know, trying to figure out it just the, the mystery of this. Uh, the, the whole mask thing, I, I just cannot, I, I don't know why I have let this get under my skin so much. Uh, just, uh, on, on various levels, I, I don't know why these fucking masks trigger me so much. I, I'm just doing some inner work on that and getting nowhere with it. Why I let, uh, it's not so much that I'm triggered by clueless fucking moron panic sheeple wearing these things. I, I'm triggered by these people who I meet who seem like very intelligent, uh, well-reasoned people who seem to have a grasp, a basic grasp of discernment and critical thinking. Uh, when they wear these fucking masks, I guess, is, is when I get triggered. Uh, so anyway, it's been an interesting group here at uh, at at Crazy Crane. So I've, on one hand, I've got this fellow. He's been hip camping all the way from California, and so you know we were talking. I always want to find out what attracted people to Crazy Crane, and he told me the reason that he came here and he's staying for four nights uh, at Crazy Crane is because, you know, I say right there in my ad, I say that this hip camp is a mask optional uh, hip camp and the host does not wear a mask and will not play cop with the guests here to uh, wear a mask and do all this social distancing. So he, he said that was the reason that it, it, he was so flabbergasted and refreshed to see a hip camp host actually advertising the fact that he is an anti-masker. So in solidarity, uh, <laughs> he's camping here. Now, of course, this guy, um, he, he pretty much said he, he got out of California, he just got so fucking sick and tired of it that he literally, he's about my age, uh, that he had just retired and, you know, planning for his retirement and whatnot in California and, and just got so sick and tired of the fucking bullshit. He packed up his uh, his car and he is doing a, a whirlwind tour of the U.S. trying to find the place, uh, you know, where he can feel like he's not some sort of, uh, of goddamn, you know, right-wing, Trump-tard, conspiracy, wacko, anti-science, whatever. And uh, so he wants to, so he's spending some time down here in Florida, but of course it was 93 degrees yesterday in March. And uh, so he, he doesn't think Florida is, is gonna work for him this summer. 
but uh, I, you know, I invited him to come see me uh, at Bugs in a Jar Hip Camp in Ithaca, New York, and he, you know, as I am wrestling with, uh, he says New York is the last place I am going to set my foot. So on some levels, compared to that man, uh, I am, uh, I sound like uh, Saint Fauci uh, compared to him, but it is refreshing to uh, hear his uh, views on this. So okay, we've also had this family, uh, these, well it's not a family, what it is is two guys each one of whom has a 12 year old son. They're up here for some kind of baseball uh, baseball tournament or something. And so these guys are, are totally uh, mask free. They, uh, this whole idea of making their 12 year old kids wear these things, uh, they, they understand uh, unbelievably that I think, what is it, about 1,000 people under the age of 18 uh, have died of corona panic. And so they are quite happy that I am mask optional at, uh, at Crazy Crane. Uh, no sign of a mask on them or their kids or whatever. Uh, very nice guys, uh, <clears throat> but the main guy I um, got to know this weekend, well he and his wife came, uh, I didn't get to know Lulu very well, but Billy Bob, we'll call him Billy Bob, you know he's one of these guys, uh, you know when you meet people sometime and you immediately become friends with them. All right, so he comes to Crazy Crane Campground, reading all of this stuff, uh, you know, with me making full disclaimer about being mask optional and all of this stuff, uh, reading between the lines. I would just as soon you not wear one of these goddamn masks uh, while you're on my property. So when they arrive, uh, you know, there's no mask anywhere. He shakes hands with me. Uh, we're within a, I think, uh, closer than six feet. We, uh, we actually uh, have a, a, we're eating at the same table. Uh, so what he does is he runs some sort of uh, tourism outfit, but what he does is he contracts with schools uh, so the vast majority of his business is, is contracting with the school systems and taking, you know, leading, he's in some sort of marine biology education or something like that. A real interesting job uh, and he has been, his business has been completely destroyed by this corona panic thing. A absolutely, you know, just he's facing financial ruin pretty much over this corona panic stuff because you know school field trips and whatnot are have just been eliminated off the face of the planet so anyway uh, I'm hanging out with this guy for two evenings and he is clearly not a, uh, a a clueless moron. I, he's not quite a doomer, uh, but he's he, you know he's floating around the edge of the doomosphere. Uh, he and I listened to that interview with William Catton that Sandy rebroadcast from 2008. He had never heard of William Catton, but uh, you know he agreed with everything. Uh, that William Catton had to say about how fucked we are. This guy is not a clueless moron, he, you know. So, so I've known the guy now uh, for two nights. 
hanging out with him. You know, he's already talking about that I need to come hang out with him at, at his place. Uh, that we need to get together and he's going to show me around all the canoeing streams and whatnot. So we decide to go canoeing yesterday. He's a big canoeer and kayaker and whatnot. So his wife, she just wanted to hang around Crazy Crane and read a book in the hammock. So uh, we load the canoe on top of the truck and he goes and so he starts to go to his car and, and I said well brother I said since Lulu's not coming I, I said just hop in the truck with me and he just got this real weird fidgety thing and he's going oh uh, I'm gonna ride with you and I, and I said well we're we're putting in at the boat ramp and taking out at the same boat ramp. We're not doing the shuttle uh, anymore since your wife isn't going. And he's going, well, I guess that makes sense. And, and I could tell that something weird was going on. And so then he goes back to his car and he retrieves not just a mask so he, he gets his mask out and he gets his, what do you call these things, these gaiters. So he puts on a mask and over the top of the mask he puts one of these, you know, these things that wrap all the way around your head. I think they're called gaiters. And uh, so he's basically double masked. And, 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 I, and I just kind of laughed and, uh, and, and he goes, Sam, he, he goes, since I am so concerned uh, that uh, I might give you uh, corona panic, that I'm going to be a nice guy and wear this mask so I will not get you sick. And, and, and I, just, I just laughed and said, well, I, I said, Billy Bob, I said, I really appreciate your concern for my health. Uh, by putting on that mask, uh, I, I said, but I'm going to be perfectly honest that I have no concern that I am going to give you corona panic uh, in, in my truck. And uh, so I am not going to wear a mask. Uh, and so he kind of shrugs and he, and he gets in the truck. Well, of course, the windows are all open. So we start out as a hot day. So I turn on the AC and roll up the windows. And, and this man just, uh, I, 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 I mean, just flipped like, I got to have the window open. I got to have the window open. And, and, and I said, brother, fine. Uh, I, I said, you... Uh, open your window and, and I'm gonna blow this nice cool air on me and my dog so he rolls the window down so basically his head is uh, his damn head is is hanging out the window rolling down the road so we get to the uh, we get to the canoe launch out at the boat ramp uh, you know at the river uh, and so when we get there he does take off his two masks. All right, so I guess, you know, it's a 17-foot canoe. So, uh, you know, we're gonna be at opposite. So we have a, we're gonna have about a 14-foot social distancing between us. So I guess we're back to uh, being uh, mask optional. And so we get there, he takes off his two masks and we go to uh, take the canoe off the truck. So, you know, it's strapped down with these two straps. So I go and take the front strap off and he's trying to figure out the, uh, the back strap of the canoe. And it, and it is a little tricky. So I walk up to him, he's there with no mask, you know, with his back turned towards me, uh, working with his buckle. So I just walk up kind of behind him to, uh, you know, to help him figure out this damn buckle on this canoe strap. And, and he looks around and he sees me without a mask standing next to him. And, and, and this, uh, you know, this grown man uh, who I know, 
you know, he, he does all of this outdoor, this very risky outdoor recreation stuff and all this. This grown man looks over his shoulder at me, and I might as well have been a, a, a you know, a, some fucking mass murderer w with a goddamn AR-15 stuck in his face. I mean, the dude jumps back against the back door and goes, give me some social distance! Give me some social distance here! <laughs> Good fucking God! And, and, and I'm just looking at him and uh, I, I, I said, brother, I, I said, how much fucking social distance do I, do you need between the two of us? I mean, just this look uh, of absolute fucking panic in this man's eyes because a, a, a one of his fellow humans who he had been hanging out with for the, the past two nights got within, uh, you know, less than six feet uh, of him or whatever. I, I, I mean, and it just, it just really, it, again, this is what triggers me. It's not so much the mask, it's the fucking fear that, that, that looking at this man, uh, who I've known for a total of 48 hours, uh, you know, I, I, I just don't get it, guys. This man and I, uh, we're two college-educated, uh, somewhat intelligent, I would like to think, grown men. Uh, we have the same information available to us. He, you know, uh, he and I, <coughs> uh, it's available, the same information is available to that man uh, that's available to me. Here is Mount Trashmore, the, uh, the local, one, one of the several local landfills. Uh, you know, this man and I are presented with the same information and how I, I, I just don't get it. I, I try to wrap my head around how that man who uh, 20 minutes later was swimming with alligators, uh, he, you know, he's a, I think he's a skydiver. I think he jumps out of airplanes for God's sake. Uh, the, the look of terror and, and, and that man's eyes because uh, one of his fellow humans got within three feet of him. Uh, I, it, it, it's just that is what triggers me. And, and it, as much as I would like to admit uh, that, I, that I still believe this is a free country and if people want to wear these fucking masks, that, that's their choice to wear the mask or not. And, and uh, but guys, I, I have to admit, I don't, I don't uh, I'm just not comfortable uh, with people wearing these fucking masks uh, around me. They're not comfortable uh, with me not wearing the mask because uh, they think uh, that I am a one-man super spreader and I'm just not comfortable uh, with them uh, because I, I just don't have any respect for fear strangled cowardly sheeple and they and, and they just look so fucking stupid uh, you know like people asking you know like my own sister uh, and, and other people right here in the Doomosphere like, like, Hema, what is your big problem with these masks? It's because you look like a fucking stupid fucking moron. You, you look like a, you, you look like something uh, out of a goddamn Twilight Zone episode. You look like a lobotomized, uh, fear-strangled, 
uh, maybe if you would wear some fucking sunglasses over your fear strangled eyes, I, I, I could deal with that mask or, or, or around your clueless fucking face. Uh, that, that's the bottom line. Uh, I, it, it, you just look like a stupid fucking idiot wearing that motherfucking thing is what I wanted to tell that guy. Take that fucking thing off your face. Do you know how fucking stupid you look? What do you think, little dog? How stupid do they look? Uh, it, it, in, anyway, I, I just notice more and more in my life uh, that, you, you know, like with my quote, real life friends, uh, more and more that I am just deciding uh, is, is it, it's, it's just, if you wear that mask, if, if you are drinking this Kool-Aid and, and, and doing this mask thing, uh, that uh, the friendship, I guess, will be uh, put on hold until this whole thing blows over, that the, this uh, little discomfort, uh, I, I'm just more and more just deciding not to associate, with, you know, with with my best friends, that uh, I'm letting this mask issue uh, j just take down friendships. Th that you 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 fucking get it or you don't, and th and that of course is is the is their opinion of me. <clears throat> Uh, so, anyway, it's just, it's just more and more that I so, it, it, you know, th this dude I probably could have ended up being friends with, and, and I probably would have stopped, uh, and visited him for a few days, uh, you know, halfway, he lives about halfway between, uh, here in Ithaca, New York, kind of right on the route, would have been a cool guy to hang out with, uh, go canoeing and, 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 and whatnot, and make a new friend, but uh, j just looking at, it, looking at that fucking terror in that man's eyes because uh, I had the audacity to walk up to him not wearing one of these fucking masks. Uh, I will. I will just never be friends with the man, uh, and that's kind of sad. And that's the way it is. But anyway, I've got to find a place to eat here before I go get my brand new, better tent. <clears throat> Another day on the planet. Get out there and enjoy your mask optional day on the planet while you still can. Bye guys.